your dialogue. No, no, no. We have a little so bit. So those are those are two questions I ask. Are you basically are you selling it to the user? Are you selling it basically? I mean, there's an the inside out threat and, management yep. portion of it. And then how do you compare with the other products? Which is yeah. what kind of what you're talking. And I love to see what it is because it'll, in the end, for me, it's how easy to implement, how easy to manage. How is it? And, and you're creating a signature based on environment, basically. So I can even put a certificate yeah. and give you a digital signature of it. So I'm not trying to make it again. You're passing the information. You don't do that. Well, um, no. I actually we implemented a uh, a X509 certificate based access management system. I you never saw this, but I could bring up a document yeah. based on classification, secret, top secret, compartmentalized. What would show up? You know the document was a Microsoft Word, mm -hmm. but it went into LDAP, pulled shit out, looked at your signature, and said, "Okay, this is what I have to present. I can only present this container." So this was after the Edward Snowden stuff. But it was so difficult to do, right? I mean, it was just, it never took off. So ease of use is one of our, is one of the questions I was gonna ask you. So and these are all good questions, by the way. Please take them. I, 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 the question that was, I'd like to suggest we get into the meat now. Yeah, well, I, I'm trying, yeah, because uh, I'm trying to two, two, right, two horses. Yeah, you know, we're getting a lot of questions. Uh, you you, you, you warmed us up for the questions, and now you've got a piece of paper. We just want to understand. Well, so I'm, I'm trying to. Okay. And, and, and real quick, before we get into that, too, remember, we're at almost at our two hour limit right. to switch cars. So you guys want to take a quick break, switch cars, and then. Um, well, I actually got another. I was actually so much waiting right at the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> you want to wait till the last minute? Well, I, I got here right at eight. So. I don't think a couple people got here early, so I don't want to make sure nobody's. I make it a tick. I mean, I, I, I have a feeling your, your, your presentation probably goes in all these questions. And it's always, I always hate it when somebody asks me all the questions before I get a chance to go. Well, why well we take and, a quick break. Let's take a quick break and yeah. switch yeah. cars and I'll make it yeah. a tick. So, yeah. 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 Right yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah. You want to do that for us? Yep. I'll do it. Yeah, we're to park. All you, all you guys got to do is they're musical cars. Just go yeah, to the they're, they're smarter than that. Well, they put the, I don't know how smart it is. They put chalk on it. So, oh, oh, just. So I just got to wipe the chop well, out. Is that 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 from <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I'd like to actually ask you something that isn't related to the, your presentation per se. So I'd like to know more about how you got into the hacking world and what that was all about, because that's an interesting part of your background story. And we'll go back here. Yeah. We'll go back 1980. Well, back to 1980. Um, I was I was one of the original members of something called uh, uh, Phantom Pirates, which was a Commodore 16 hacking, game hacking. We would hack into games, remove the protection, and put our little banner up there, that was our game thing. <laughs> and uh, it was, I don't know if you guys remember serve and I don't remember all that stuff, but that was back in those days, and, and, and it's old school stuff. But uh, that's what we did. We, we had a, a library of 1,500 games eventually that we could. We put our, our banners and stuff on all the time. These were other people's games that you were just like your banners onto, or these were afraid of your own games? No, no, these were other people's games. Okay, we were removing the protection. Got it. Okay. Okay. You're, you're hacking. No, no, unfortunately, no, no, no more. You're smart. No, you're in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> and so then you yeah. made the, the game okay. available to anybody instead of. Yeah, they, 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 they were basically afraid yeah. that yeah. Awesome. No, we had their, no, I think they're basically just called CompuServe oh. that people get. I ran the name. Hey, do you think they're just going to use those cards? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so that's what we do. We just pure Thanks for the reminder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no, I understand. Yeah, we don't want to go out and take it. So, I got to go switch my car, too. Sorry if I made it. One thing that really intrigued me, what I'd really like to understand is keyless management. So everything that you're telling me is fine. I mean, good for the background. I want to get a little deep and sort of see. How would, how can you do, if you can do the keyless, yes. because I can achieve everything you're saying with crypto, and I think you know that too, except crypto is effing difficult and key management is difficult. If you can show me that, then I think you've got some play here. Because for the consumer, key management is very difficult. I can do it in the corporate world. I can do key recovery. I can do key asset. I mean, I can do all kinds of things. Even in our play, we're trying to look at if we lost an identity, or we lost a phone with mobile identity, blockchain, how do you recover it? The recovery process by itself is a bit arduous, and for a consumer, there's too much friction. Consumers don't want friction. I'll be back on that thought, okay. I gotta move the car. <laughs> That's what I do. Don't really. answer yet, though. Five, three, one. <laughs> I like your background. I think it's interesting. I think at the end of the day, the people who are the most inventive took a different pathway in life. 
you know, it, 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 I, at least it's not an absolute, but it, it, at least half of the inventors that I've um, come across seem to have there's a challenged the status quo somewhere along the line in order to come up with fresh ideas. There was a gentleman that just passed away that identified with, uh, he literally just passed away. And he invented uh, something that most famous for inventing a, a wind up radio for Africans. So people say, you know, that's a hokey thing. Well, it turns out that if you're in the Congo and you're worried about the spread of Ebola virus and there's no way to communicate whatsoever, the wind up radio becomes a hell of a tool for the government yeah. and for the, in particular it was very, very low cost. We well, invented that. He invented some other goofier things, uh, electric shoes to generate electricity. He recently passed away, but he, he made an observation. He said, you know, basically all inventors, it's not so much that they're different from anybody else. You know, they're typically not. Uh, they said they 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 have a lateral view. They look at everything from a, from the side. They're two inches removed. You know, two inches left of center, two inches right of center from what everybody else is thinking. You know, and, and we see a lot. And I I'm trying to and what I'm trying to avoid here is I want to stay away from certain negativity because I, I understand jump here uh, getting to, but the problem is that if you start going around and focusing on trying to make everything. Einstein said if you do things the same way over and over again, that's the definition of insanity, right? expecting a different result. And one of the things that happens is that this mindset says, okay, well, we have this technology, and we make one assumption that is invalid on its face. We say that it works. I, I, if I was just a different conversation, I would say, prove me DRM works, because nobody thinks it does. So any other thing that works, they're looking for other answers. Everybody in, everybody in the conversation is looking for other answers than what DLP included. And I don't want to without them being here, but one of the things, I don't want to get into that discussion because I think when they understand the totality of what we, we do and the way we do it, they'll understand why, because it's becomes a no-brainer. If you step aside and you look at all the things that computer can process, for example, in terms of the idea of uniqueness becomes a laughable concept in terms of the artificial construct. It's right fucking there. And what I'm saying that is this is that he just types some things on his computer. That, that, everything on a computer is unique from any other device on the planet, and I don't have to generate anything. All I have to do is go pick up a few points on that computer, even though it's a common operator, and, stuff, and I can identify, you know, there's your uniqueness. There, there's no need, if you assume that a, 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 if you identify through, through uh, technology, that this entity is entitled to have this thing. And you can identify it through a variety of ways, right? Math addresses, whatever. And you say that this, this individual is entitled. And now, I mean, he's this is person who says it's not that unique to say. But there's some things that just become, you know, like you have to address the point of perspective that people come from. And that's, that's a challenge for me, for sort of some of the other people skills. Yeah. Your skills are pretty impressive. You know, you're, you're, your communication skills. Yeah, I need that happen. smile. I, that's what I need. Come in there, make you confident. I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, well. But I get I get in the weeds and I say, you know, no, man, this is. This go, no, he's going really good. Yeah. It's it, you're being very descriptive, which is good, and, and there's just a lot of questions being asked, yeah. which is good. You're doing great. Listen, your your um, communication, communication yeah. skills are awesome. I mean, I really enjoy your ideas, and there's very few people I do. Oh. I do enjoy <laughs> reading re 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 the way that you try and describe. Things. I mean, you're very, uh, yeah, and, and you're descriptive and, and well thought through. Um, and your presentation, standing in front of a group, is very good too. I mean, you're, you know, you're. You, you, I'm working on it. You know, you're, you're, you really are. You're fine. Yep. I think that really, at the end of the day, this just comes down to uh, these guys getting to understand and have confidence in it, to know that it can fit into something that we might want to like try and do. And I'd like the challenge and the pushback because I think that that stuff is actually and better and than don't take today any of our and now than later. I, I want you to totally be relaxed. I, I'm on the other side that when you do the pitch on the same way, don't take any of this in oh. any other tone except I'm trying to get an understanding um, and time-wise too because we had time and try to understand. Yeah, that's what's very intriguing. And I'd like to see a little bit more on the technology. And Don, I think, is a hard stop at 11. Yes. Um, so I think what I would like to do, if I can, just kind of get a loose case, see how it would I'd like to have get in a room with the two of you and, and, and answer any questions. They actually brought all the source code, for example. Uh, well, I don't need the source code. No, 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 I know. But I mean, what I'm saying, we're prepared. Uh, we, what, we have, what we 
have a demonstration, we understand it differently, we've had this conversation for a lot of people. So, but what Part I of the product. Well, that's what, that's part of the deal we're trying to get to. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think you'll see the differences. Let's just go right to, um, let's do Because Don's going to need an hour, then we can catch up with Mark and Mark later. And let's okay. get, we're going to go you right into, for that minute, let's, let's just do, the first part. I want to make the best use of the time. Right. He's got me working, and I got, I got a little boy. I understand. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Let's just all of this. And the yeah, I can't, 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 I um, but we can we can reschedule we can do this. We can have all local calls also. Now that yeah. we're all mad at each other, yeah. there's a lot that can be done. Yeah. Can be done. Essentially, for us, the way we see the world again, with respect to the other images, you know, for for our perspective is basically there's for to come in with a, a cybersecurity technology. Uh, the first issue is somebody comes up with a new widget and say, okay, well we're going to bend the entire world to your solution. We get that all the time. Uh, people say, well, you know, you have to rewrite your all, all your applications and all that stuff. And, and for us, the greater challenge is to take what our what we've created and make it adaptable to, to the technology out there. And when you go to do that, you discover immediately that the two extremes, the upper right, if you're, if you're in a pigeon analogy, would be if you're painting in corners, you want to go high and tight, you want to go a little outside, uh, that, that describes the box, right? Um, so, so if you're going to do that, the two edges here are the simple technologies, which are text, uh, video, some of our text, images, because there's no interfaces in between. You, you, it's a very plain vanilla, you write to notepad, you're expecting a plain text file out, you're expected to take a plain text file in, period, end of subject. You've got to deal with that part of the world. You've got to deal with legacy technologies. So that's one corner of our box. The other is a mini uh, a, a technology that has many interfaces. We're going to present both of these today. We're going to present a simple text editor, one of the most thing, difficult things in the wild to protect is plain text from a practice standpoint. Uh, you can do all these things, but by the time you attach, you learn all these other things to a plain text notepad file that has.